Yesterday morning, Nintendo announced that they would be delving into game development for the smart device landscape with the help of mobile games publisher DNA. Here to chat about this new direction are two familiar faces, Goose and Hex. Goose, you're known as a bit of a uh, ninty fanboy around the office. What are your initial impressions about this? Um, I gotta say, Hingers, I'm a little concerned. Um, I've always looked at Nintendo as one of the purest developers in the sense that they're very protective about their IP and their characters, so I'm a little worried that we're gonna start seeing the selling out of Mario and his friends in these mobile games, possibly. Hex, we've all watched Nintendo struggling a bit over the last couple of years financially. Do you think just right now they're getting their, their sort of fingers into the right pies commercially? Absolutely. I mean, I think that kind of super traditional way of, of presenting their characters, you know, they, they stick to the same games and they really really want everyone to experience them in the same way. I think that's really been holding them back. I think, you know, it's been a long time coming. Them finally, you know, they even said themselves, you know, we gave in. They, they realised that they had to kind of meet everyone else, uh, you know, and step up to the plate because without doing this, I think they're just going to go further and further into the wrong direction. They've been relying a lot on just kind of these core sort of mm. three or four games to kind of carry them through. Yeah, and I think the market's kind of responding to that. Uh, Nintendo stock I read today rose almost four points, which made me wonder what that means. I have no idea either. <laughs> Sounds good though. Yeah, four. Yeah, four, four whole points? points? Four. Are you serious? Yeah. No, good well, Nintendo. Well, mm, very good. Very well, I, I think as well, maybe sell. there's a, a bit of business strategy uh, you know, in play here. Like, it's a lot of the games that they're going to be bringing out on mobile devices aren't going to be ports of um, pre-existing Nintendo games. They're going to be new games based around Nintendo franchises. So any kind of future consoles they might choose to release, you know, if they've created new games on mobile devices that then get full game releases on future mm. consoles, then maybe people will get sort of brought into Nintendo that way. Are there particular franchises that you guys are really interested in seeing uh, in this new mobile release? I think it, it's funny though because so many uh, mobile games have been trying to um, emulate the Nintendo model. There's been so many uh, sort of little platformers and things that are almost blatant rip-offs of Nintendo games. There's like, you know, Plumber Sam and it's just this little side-scroller <laughs> and it looks exactly like Mario because people want to play those really... Italian cool... tradesmen. Exactly. The game. <laughs> the game now. And I think there's even one called Ocean Horn, which is uh, a sort of isometric adventure game where you have a sword, you sail a boat around islands, it's ringing some bells, it's pretty much as Zelda. Island sailing. I get Island you. sailor. Mm. I mean, anything like po like Pokemon or Pikmin, that would yep. all work so well on mobile devices, and they could really capitalize off that if they made that leap. So. I don't know why they've taken so long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I, I, I would be disappointed if we didn't see some of the old games as mobile games now ported to mobile as well, because I've just been dying to play Mario on my phone. I, I feel like it'll happen. It's just that, you know, when, you, when they make a big decision like this, they have to come out with new product, yeah. I think, and that's probably quite smart. And then later on, they'll be like, all right, and you can play all these as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. because if there's new hardware they're developing, they are much more likely to use those old games as part of a... Uh, a hook in to get you to buy that as well, right? So just say this new hardware is a console. They release that console, they say it's back compatible with all these games, they release them on that, and then once they've done that and you've bought the hardware, then later on they go, oh, and also because it's all part of the same store we're running here, we'll just release it on the on our version of the App Store or whatever as well. On top yeah, of that, you know. In the last couple of months, we've seen the whole Amiibo craze, That's which true. is which was it a craze? <laughs> well, okay, maybe not a craze, but I, I saw that, and a little part of my soul died when I saw that Nintendo was now marketing these little toys, and I, I don't know, I, I didn't really see the appeal, and apparently there's, you know, they're, they're popular, they're selling out everywhere, but mm. I, I, a little part of me thought, oh, Nintendo, what have you done? You used to be this pure, you know, uh, really, I don't know, good-hearted company, and now you're... I feel you're... like the Nintendo in your memory... <laughs> Maybe you're right. Like, it just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> actually, what, what it is, is you have this memory of Nintendo because as a child, you only saw these good kind of things Nintendo was doing. You only saw yeah. these, like, very pure, artistically driven, you know, a passion about games. Kind of. Whereas I'm sure there were like crazy like business decisions <laughs> Nintendo made in, like the 80s where they like bought a whole company out and then fired well, they made a film. Like, <laughs> they made that film. They actually used a whole film as viral marketing for the Power Glove. So again, yeah, yeah you're right. Now that I look back, the, the veneer is starting to wear like, off and yeah, I'm discovering. Like, like Nintendo wasn't just kind of making Mario and that was it. Like yeah. they weren't, you know, they weren't just developing games. They were a, a, a multinational conglomerate. They were milking been... our parents for every dollar they had. <laughs> Fairly successful. True. Some people say that this is too soon after the Wii U to be talking about a new console if the new hardware is a new console. Do you guys think that Nintendo are going to abandon the Wii U? I feel like maybe. 
to be honest, I just don't think it's been doing well enough. There's already hints of them kind of talking about releasing games on, you know, other platforms and mm -hmm. then being like, um, but probably not the Wii U. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's not a good sign. I, I have alarm bells everywhere and it just doesn't, it just doesn't perform as well as the other consoles. That's... Yeah, it has been it has been selling at a loss, and I, I feel as much as I I have a soft spot for the Wii U. I think it's a great console, but just the the fact that there aren't enough games out there for it, I just don't think it can stay alive. And I think if this is a new console of some sorts, I feel like there's no reason they're gonna try and turn around and keep pandering to the Wii U market. What what little of it there is, so yeah. yeah. Like I guess the question is, you know, if they do release a new console what kind of console will it be? Because the Wii was very much the family console mm. and then they released the Wii U alongside of, well, just ahead of the next generation of current consoles that we have now and it kind of didn't really know what it was, you know, it was trying to sort of, at first it looked like it was trying to cater to the sort of, you know, all gamers, not just the sort mm. of core, or like, you know, family market and it didn't really. Well, so I mean, are they going to go super hardcore now and be like, all right, we're going to do shooters, we're going to do fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is, the hardcore <laughs> Nintendo console. Well, I think the original Wii sold something like 10 times the units that mm. the Wii U did. It was something like 100 million units to 10 million units. And so you think then if they make a game now, they can only send a maximum of 10 million units of that game if everyone who owns a Wii U buys that. Mm. You know? yeah. And so they're just realising that they have to make games for these bigger markets because they're saying that they want this new console or this new hardware and these new games to be you know hitting around 100 million daily active users you know that seems like a lot of people yeah well i don't know i think my fear would be you know when you think about the wii it was the first console to really bring us motion gaming um and and sort of market that to a um, really accessible audience and that's why it was so popular and why it was flying off the shelves and um you know anyone could play it young and old that was their their whole thing so i would worry that with their next console they'll be looking for a similar kind of hook and mm. focus all of their sort of marketing around that with the wii u it's very much seen to be this kind of like it played it safe and, didn't it yeah it was almost like they're with the wii. i mean they might go down the vr route there's a few sort of um people that are toying with VR at the moment, but mm. you know, if they really push that hard, as like they're going to be like trying to be on the front foot with, with yeah. bundled VR in with their console or something I mean, like that, and I feel like that would be making the same mistake. Is there a sense in which the family gaming that the Wii kind of provided before is now that space is now kind of taken up by mobile gaming, right? So, like. My mum, for example, uh, case study of one person, she, she would play a bit of the Wii. Now she plays everything on her tablet, you know, mm. the game she does play. And I feel like a lot of that market share has been taken up by tablets, and that's why Nintendo is making its move into this marketplace. Goose, do you have any particular predictions for the NX? I think it's going to have to be something radical because with the original Wii is, as you said, they really found this niche uh, that hadn't been filled, which was motion gaming and really family-friendly uh, sort of entertainment. And it, you know, it went gangbusters. It sold that many consoles. But with the Wii U, it was almost like they decided to rein it back and join the console race by coming out with this HD, pretty safe console, all things considered. So the fact that that hasn't sold as well, I, I feel like there's someone in the marketing department at Nintendo now who is just going, we have to do what the Wii did back then. We have to come up with something that is just going to blow people's socks off. Almost like Apple kind of going, we need to make the new thing that just becomes the standard. Mm. So I feel like there is something brewing there and it's going to have to be very different from just another console. What other possibilities does Nintendo have to do that really attention grabbing you know, feature on this on this new hardware. I know that they've alluded that it's not going to be a mobile device and that it will probably be maybe a home console, but I would still love if it was no a Nintendo one phone. Would buy I think everyone would love a, a Nintendo, Nintendo phone. phone. Everyone's already got the little SNES cases on their iPhones. No I think way. people would love just to have a little handheld. There's a difference between like retro nostalgia and having a Nintendo phone. Oh, I that's just, think just like a shoe phone. Everyone's tired of the Apple devices and <laughs> galaxies. I, I want a Nintendo phone. Oh. Oh, uh, just the, the fanboy like, yeah. <laughs> runs deep with you. <laughs> what do you think this Nintendo phone is going to do? I just think it'll be just Mario on the back instead of Pokemon, Apple. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Yeah, all of that. And just street passes. Like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that is all the time we have for today's show. Let us know what you think about Nintendo's new mobile direction. Until tomorrow, see ya!